Hi everyone, Matt here from Power With Purpose with another workout for you. This time we're doing something that's not quite to do with uh, Taekwondo as much. It's going to be just a little bit more uh, general fitness and using some resistance based exercises. So what we're going to be working on is some medicine ball slams, push ups, sit ups and some dumbbell clean and presses. Now with any of these exercises, uh, if you make sure you go with something, a weight that's appropriate. Okay, if you don't have dumbbells, that's okay. This could be something good for some of our older students if they're going to the gym or even any of the adults. Um, but make sure you're using a weight that's appropriate for you. If you're not too sure, seek someone, uh, a professional in the industry, so maybe a, a trainer at your gym, okay, or even come and talk to me uh, yourself and we'll discuss what would be the best weight for you. But always go with something that's comfortable when you're, first, when you're doing something new. And when you become a bit more experienced and you understand your body a little bit better, then you can start to push yourself harder through workouts and pick up weights that are heavier, okay? So what we're doing from here, all right, write down these numbers. It's 20 medicine ball slams. So medicine ball slams, you wanna lift the ball up above your head, okay? Have some control, throw it to the ground. You wanna catch it on the first bounce, okay? So that would be one, up, Two, three, four, five. So that's going to be 20 medicine ball slams. After that, after you've done your 20, straight into push ups. Okay? You're going to do 10 push ups. We'll just demonstrate some here. Legs out straight, palms on the floor, body straight, bend, nose to the floor, and up. Two, three, four. Five. Again, you're going to be doing ten of those. Okay. While you're on the ground, immediately turn over onto your back. You want to be going for some sit-ups. If you can't do a full sit-up, just go for a crunch. A crunch can be just from here to get your shoulders off the ground. A little movement. Two, three, four. A full range sit-up. Try to keep your heels on the floor no matter what, and get your body up as high as you can. It is tougher. You saw my heel move a bit there. It's going to be a little stricter. Two, three, one more, four. So again, if you can't do all the way up and down, just doing little crunches up and down. The last movement is a dumbbell clean and press. This one you're going to do ten or five on each hand. From here, start with the dumbbell on the ground. You need to squat all the way down to the dumbbell, pick it up, turn it over, and then push it up above your head, okay? Come a little bit more back so you can see. So from here, you squat down, pick up the dumbbell, lift, turn upside down, little squat again for some power, push it up, control it back to the ground, let it go. Now we do the other hand. So that was one, down, lift, turn, down, push. When you do them slowly, they get a lot harder. These moves, you want to have a bit more power with them and a bit more speed. So you want to do it nice and quick. Push, down, that's three. Up, turn, push, that's four. And you keep going until you get to 10. Now that's one round of the circuit done. Okay, what was it? 20 medicine ball slams, 10 push-ups, 20 crunches slash sit-ups, and then 10 dumbbell clean and presses. Now the idea of this circuit is do it non-stop for 20 minutes. All right, that's a long time. If you're not too confident with your fitness, maybe start with 10 minutes. Set up a timer, maybe on your watch or your phone, click start, and then don't stop the routine until you hear the alarm go off. Okay, I'm about to get mine started. Let me know how you go. Bye.
so I can get better. Off that. That's okay. I'm still filming now, but now this is just background stuff. Oh, so you're gonna bring it with you? Sorry. The phone. Yeah. So make sure you do bring it with you, because I've got to go and unlock. Class starts at twenty past, not five thirty. I know.